Welcome to the Founders Club by 321ecommerce.net. Hit the like and subscribe button. And finally, click the bell icon to be notified of new uploaded videos. So, what is the Founders Club? We created Founders Club as, first, a place for tech startups with minimum viable product or MVPs to promote their apps. Second, it is a place for early stage investors to check out new startups. Third, it is a place for early adopters to check out new tech apps. Fourth, it is a place for a global community of tech startups. If you are an entrepreneur, and don't have a tech co-founder or a tech product yet, you can check out www.321ecommerce.net to look at ready-made minimum viable product or MVPs, white labels. If you are a founder with an MVP and is ready to market, and want to promote your product or service, contact us. Join us and grow this community, spread the word, thank you. How to hire the right IT staff for any project. I've been asked this question from time to time, and this is my personal opinion. You need to hire a solutions architect first, to create the overview technical vision of a specific solution to a business problem. The solutions architect will develop, design and manage the solution. Next, the solutions architect will need to hire the lieutenants of the project or project leaders. The lieutenants will then need to hire the foot soldiers or the front-end devs, back-end devs, UI slash UX devs, database engineers, systems admins, network admins, security engineers, testers, etc. I don't like to micromanage because, if I hire you, I believe that you can do task assigned to you. But if there is a delay within any part of the ecosystem of the project, that's when I go and meet the people to see what the problem is, and how can we fix it as a team. Here are examples from my past experience of a bad hire. 1. Since my Unix systems admin work was running smoothly, I was asked to help the Windows network manager to interview candidates for a network admin job. The manager really liked this one candidate because the candidate aced the network admin certification, and knows all the network admin books by heart. When it was my turn to interview the candidate, I pulled a network cable, cut off the RJ45, and asked the candidate to connect the PC back to the network. The candidate said that he doesn't know how. After the interview, I told the manager, how can you be a network admin if you don't know the basics of connecting PCs to network? The manager insisted on the candidate and hired him. Three to four months into the job, he fired the guy. Two, the company I was working for, hired another dev guy for another project. Since I didn't manage him, and the application that I was working with, were completed ahead of schedule, my boss asked me to find out why the new IT guy is not producing any work for two months in. I did a quick chat with the guy and he said he came from a top IT school, etc. So when I asked him, where are you in the project? He has nothing to show for, not even a working module. So, my boss told me to work on the delayed project ASAP without the new guy. What are the common traits of the two scenarios? The two IT guys are great at memorizing books but not enough experience to come up with a working application or module. If you need help with your next IT project, big or small, DM me. If you know someone who works for a VC company for a pre-seed stage projects, DM me. That is it for this episode. If you are an entrepreneur, and don't have a tech co-founder or a tech product yet, you can check out www.321ecommerce.net for more details and to look at ready-made minimum viable product or MVPs, white labels. If you are a founder with an MVP and is ready to market, and want to promote your product or service, contact us. For more details about this episode, visit www.321ecommerce.net. And before you go, remember to hit the like and subscribe button. And finally, click the bell icon to be notified of new uploaded videos. Join us and grow this community, spread the word, thank you.